Okay. Hey guys. Saying the same, seeing the same thing Coming. again and again. Well, except for that. So guys, welcome back to DK64, and I'm gonna let you guys know something. I actually did a little bit of off-camera work. Basically, I only, the only thing I did is I went to Jungle Japes, and I got um, uh, Tiny's last five bananas. And I'm going to let you guys know something. I used a guide to find them. Now, the guide I got is game... F I'm sorry, this game back. But, um, it's just a, um, it's just a banana guide. Like, uh, just a regular bananas. As you guys see here. Got all the bananas and I only you like that there's a list of showing like where like the different bunches of bananas are. I believe it's from 0 to 10, 10 to 20, uh, um, 20 to 30, 30 to 4. What's no, it's not that. Um, well, no, 10 to 20, 20 to 40, 40 to 60, 60 to 80, and then 80 to 100. I believe that's a no, because my five dumbass. Well, yeah, no, Jeez, um, how many fucking? Basically, it shows the different locations of the different banana bunches and where the balloons are located in a general area. So, I only had, since I only had five bananas left, I used that guy to get the last five that I was missing, and they were in, um, the, uh, section where, um, Cranky is, like the three trees, it was on the right, it was on the right side. Wait, while we're here, let's go and get something. And we're actually gonna need Tiny's help for this. Because, whoops. Believe it or not, I'm not sure if my voice cracked there just then, but I think it might have. Believe it or not, but we can actually... Enter this island now, and got quite nice calming music to it, if I must be honest. But it's going to get interrupted by this. Wait a minute. Before we do that, let's talk about these. Oh yeah, these I might also do off camera because there's quite a few of them. And plus they're going well I might do them for like uh for jungle japes since we already seen them. Because I believe How many? How many are there? Wait. Let me have a look here. Um that's okay, that's not what I'm looking for. What button am I pushing? Uh, there's two per level, and we already see where those two are located. And oh, since we got jungle gyms done, there's no point in going back to it. Let's go in here and get Tiny's first gold banana for a DK Isle. Or the main central hub, the hub level, the hub world, I should say. That's one thing I actually like, really, really like about this game. Hey, compared to the other games that has hub worlds, this one is is quite expensive because I mean, like, you have you can go into here. You have a small island over there. You can go over there to that platform. You can travel all along there. Uh, you can travel everywhere on uh, DK Isle. You can travel all, all around here on Cruel Isle. You can even enter uh, Kerklumbi's uh, little thing here. 
so I mean, it's quite expensive. I... Wow, that was a delay. Now, let me show you guys something weird. What's up with that? It's in the, um... It's in the, uh, the, um... The regular game, too. It's... <laughs> Even when I played it on the N64, like that... Blue, like, tra uh, trapezoid or half hexagon thing showed up. Banana skin photographs. Here, take my Masco camera. It already has some film in it. To activate the camera, press and hold C and then press C down. Okay. Take a phrase picture by pressing B. Okay. As a sign of our friendship, I'll now teach you a you and your friends a secret ability. Press and hold B to power up this move and then release the button to activate it. As well as protecting you, it can also be useful for unearthing hidden items. Unfortunately, it needs a crystal coconut to work. Use it wisely. Watch. I love that ability. Well, oh yeah, there's crystal coconuts everywhere in here. And once again, my voice acting is on par, as in on par, it could not be, could not be further from, could not be any closer from being as an ass. Oh yeah, there's a, um, there's a door. This door, as you guys see, this big door right here, that opens later, and I mean much later. What is it with this series and banana based life forms? Because in 3 there was fucking banana birds. Now there's fucking banana fairies. Now, here's the thing I can find these. I know where they are. Well, most of them. I can't say I know all of them. Now, guys, watch. What's now, you guys like see. Like now, you guys see that red. Um, that red. I'm gonna call it an emoji, okay? Watch. Yay, emojis. Before they were invented. Who invented emojis? There's supposed to be a pit. There's supposed to be like a, um. Like a uh, brownish gradient, uh, picture. Of the fairy into it. Oh, yeah, um, when we get fairies, we can get one extra crystal coconut. So they max out their crystal coconut amount by one. Which is quite nice. But now we're heading. We're gonna be heading back to Angry Aztec and we're gonna be continuing things there. Hi, Discord. And I'm gonna be using DK. And the thing is, guys, I... Oh, I guess it's something I could do. One second. There we go. Just trying to deal with the lag problem. I guess watch. 
I don't know why, but every like when I used to play this on the uh, back on the N64, I used to do this all the time ever since I I get the ability. Watch this. Let go of the B button, and it goes away. I don't know why I always did that, but I always found that to be really cool. Oh yeah, and the um the banana fairies that you get for each one, they also max out your bombs and your ammo. Okay, so there's four on DKR, two in here, and two in here. Now, if we can find the two that's in here, we'll get them. But the ones in Jungle Japes, I will get on my own time. I do like the flute work in this. It's quite nice, if I must be honest. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay. That's where one is. Where's the other? Okay, I think I know where to where the banana fairies are to right now, which I do believe those are places we have to go to. This is a little added effect. Um I don't think there's any in there. I could be mistaken, but if memory serves me correctly, there's one in the Lama's Temple. Oh yeah, speaking of this, okay. okay, you got one. Diddy got one, and Linky Tony got one. Okay, we can actually get, um, Lanky's first golden banana in here. I just need to remember where that banana fairy is. There we go. No, don't pull out your gun. Put it away. I don't want to shoot the poor thing. And I pull out my gun! Accidentally. And this camera is very particular. Like you have to be you have to get these fairies like, as close to the middle as you possibly can. Which considering how much these move around move around is kind of annoying. Got him. Like I said, it's supposed to be um like, um, those, um, those old type of cameras that has, like, the, uh, brownish, uh, color gradient into it. I forget what it's called. It's not sepia, because, uh, is it sepia? I think it's sepia, though. Yeah. But, yeah, um, it's supposed to have that type of gradient to it. But, emulation. It's a pain in the ass. And we can actually, as I said, we can actually get Lanky's first golden banana. As soon as we... You would think... One shot from these. Oh yeah, we are supposed to kill him. <laughs> that, that was just something, uh... Extra. Oh god. Whoops. Okay, did not mean to do that. Okay. Good. Five bananas for you so far. Now there's a couple of coins over here. Oh yeah, one thing I do remember that I'm gonna say is that the prices for everything, like the potions, the music, as well as the weapons, they do increase throughout the game. So get as many coins as you possibly can is recommended. Highly recommended. Uh, 
Uh, this here is a um, is a memory match game. Not, not only do you have to match up the colors, but you have to match up the sounds. That's the first time I believe I ever did that damn first shot. Yeah, for some reason that makes the sound of um the um the um uh, there's a tube on top of Cranky's lab that pops its top. For some reason those two monkey heads makes the same noise. It's really weird. There's a duck. Crap. These sounds are ridiculous. Okay, so we find there sounds like a like a baby noise or something. And a um a gong. Which we are gonna have to do something with a gong later. Yeah, we got one here blowing raspberries. And when it sounds like a slide whistle. You blind? I'm glad you idiots are to blind. Oh yeah, just let you guys know, the next level after this will be the last level we have to backtrack. Like, when we get the last uh, Kong, that'll be the last time we have to backtrack. So like, the fourth level onwards, there'll be no backtracking anymore. You know what? Let's get this done. Try to get away from that stupid thing. Yeah, let's get this done because there's a golden banana. We can get one if we, uh, well, when we may complete this. So let's head back outside. Oh, yeah, um, just to let you guys know, I'm not going to be going in, um, you know, I'm not going to be going in uniform order all the time. I basically, I basically from now on, if we if we're in the area where we can get a golden banana for a particular con, we'll get that. Just for simplicity's sake, instead of having to travel all over the map. And well to get all the uh, a single cons golden bananas and then having to go through the whole entire map to get another one, go through the whole entire map and uh, again to get another Ah crap, it did it again. I hate it when it does that. I swear that did not happen when I uh, used to play this on a um I basically I I updated the uh emulator version of this and this did not happen with the audio version. So I don't know, maybe it's just the emulator version. But I do know that from some research and some research that I'm after doing, Project 64 is the best emulator for N64 games. Good. That door is a mini. And DK, once again, you're being a. S no, it's closed. Ugh. I'm still here, Bethel. I am just kind of. Now, this time, we to retreat, don't glitch us on us, and... I'm trying so hard not to scope my tongue, because my, I can feel right now that my tongue is trying to fight me. Wait. 
What? They're glitchy. Glitchy Kong. Glitchy. Glitchy Kong is here. Oh. So for some reason, he, he, you are coming in a bit quiet, so I can't quite understand everything that you said. Okay, where's that switch? He has... He has no... <coughs> he has no face. This... Um, <coughs> the, uh, that switch is awesome. He like glitches in the middle. I didn't mention I'm tired and I've had a long day, right? Okay. I was just going to say that you uh, I was just going to say that you're bored. That too. That too, love. Yeah. Yeah, stop reading fucking constant comics and let's start doing Britishisms all the time. Okay, now you stupid tree, don't glitch us on us and send us back to the, um... Start at this level, please. But yeah, um, speaking of fighting with my tongue... In our most recent, uh, Hexen video... It, oh, we come across one of those, uh, uh, text walls, like walls of text. I mean, um, because we do complete a, uh, a new area. Oh yeah, that's a... Uh, the uh, most recent Hexen videos is an episode you go you guys are gonna want to see, believe me. Watch. But yeah, when I was reading the oh, model of text that came up on the screen, why? Then there's money. There's so many. Oh, man. Welcome to bonus day. Maybe a goat. Sneak around the maze to the chicken flag. <laughs> I know you're bored and tired, dude, but what are you doing? Well, I'm sliding off my bed for one. For another, I was making a goat noise. Well, yeah, um, as I was. Oh god, that was close. Yeah, basically we have to avoid from getting caught here. Well done! Yeah, um, in the uh, wall of text is. that I was reading when we completed the level, I was literally fighting with my tongue because I felt I felt like that my tongue wanted to die on me and constantly tripping my own words. So I was literally fighting with it a little bit just so I can actually keep the words flowing out of my mouth without like, getting tied up in a knot. Okay, we're gonna have to do we're gonna have to do something with that here and in a bit. You know let's do that now while we're here. Wait a minute, let's head back inside and get that uh, balloon for Diddy. The balloon! Spider-Man, give me my balloon! My balloon, Spider-Man, give me the fucking balloon! Oh shit, I just got ate by Venom! Someone knows what I'm talking about. Someone played the two Spider-Man games I'm referencing. Apparently I'm di uh, apparently I didn't because I'm lost. Have you you never even played a Spider-Man game, have you? No. Okay. So any references Please. that you make to those is just is gonna go right over my head. There's a kid, there's like an, a reoccurring mission in Spider-Man 2, the game, where this kid asked you to find his balloon. People hated it and thought it was annoying, so in the next game they made, Ultimate Spider-Man, which I have, when you play as Venom, you can actually eat the kid. Oh, wow. 
which I always thought was funny. There's a uh, meddling crate next to us. I can hear bouncing. I heard the new uh, Spider Man game's good too. The, uh, the Insomniac one. That is good. Speaking of um, games, I wonder if they're going to make a game based off the uh, new Bumblebee movie. Yeah, they probably will, but it'll just be a shitty, like, fucking Android App Store game like that. Cause that's all they fucking make anymore. Like, I don't know when or if we'll get a new Transformers console game for real, cause like, nowadays, as far as, like, tie-ins, they'll just fucking make a mobile game because it's cheaper and easier and they'll probably sell better. And it, it's lazier. Like, so I doubt one for Bumblebee, but I would love to see a new actual good game at some point. You know, by someone who knows what they're doing. Whether that'll happen or not, I don't know. That was the last thing still working with Warner Brothers in a good time. Like, fucking hell no. Transformers game. Okay, that's like something like fucking Arkham Gas would nail it. Like I said, they gave the last Transformers game to Platinum and they killed it, so. Someone else make a good one, please. I doubt though they'll make a, a mobile game dedicated to a movie uh, based off a movie because they never did that. Because everything that they did, every single game that they made based off a movie it was on some type of console. Oh, well, I'm just talking about nowadays people do that. Oh, yeah, I'm talking about like now in the modern time. That's usually what you get. So I see like movie tie-ins. And you, when I when I said that you respond, when you responded with that, that they, when you said that they probably just make some like, shitty mobile game, you sounded kind of salty. It's just. State of the industry nowadays. Honestly, it's just kind of what people fucking do, and that's all I fucking Transformers has gotten since those days. Actually, you know, not even shitty mobile games. They've gotten good mobile games. I heard Earth War is good. I heard Forge oh, yeah. fights pretty good, even though my phone can't load it. And I got both of those games. Personal opinion, no complaints. Dude, you have all of your Transformers games. Fuck you. Well, okay, not yet, but you're working on it. You found that you can get the other two you don't have. Yeah, guys. Apparently, I can. But well, I can. Di I can digitally um, download the um, War Fall of Cybertron and Rise of the Dark Spark from Amazon uh, and buy them from there and then download directly and. Download it, but I have to. The games cost 50 bucks each, but I will be getting those games because we already did War and um, Devastation on the channel, so you guys will be seeing those two games. And I don't know why the, the music is so that, that's all the good ones. I'm, I'm serious, it's all the good ones. Yeah, there's a vulture in there we have to rescue, and I kind of jumped the gun a little bit. Whoops! Vulture culture. Isn't that a level in one of the games? Oh yeah! yeah. I went to the, um, uh, DK Wiki, 
And it turns out this game is indeed a sequel to the DKC trilogy. Thank you, thank you. And considering all of the references that's in this, I'm not surprised. Like, oh, there was never anything that long. Ah, freedom. Thanks, Diddy. If you fancy a test of your flying skill, come and meet me up, Diddy. That's your girl. I think that's what it said. Yeah, for some reason, that, that text bubble always cuts into when you're flying, so you always end up skipping it. I really don't know why they, uh, that tag bear was probably not working. Oh, that's why, well, because we triggered the, uh, event with that guy. Hey, I can't fly any slower. And you still can't keep up. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, here you are, Diddy. I thought Lost. Follow me around the level and fly through all the rings. Leave behind if you want to get a prize. Okay. Oh, sweet. But I can find you as a prize. Time, guys. Well, we actually did quite a. We actually did get quite a bit of work done. Like I said, off camera, I'm gonna go back to Jungle Japes and get those two banana fairies that we missed. And we'll continue on things from here as we got still got a lot of work to do. But um, so I uh, fire your coconut gun at the like button if you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one. Hey guys. Once we're done this place, we actually come to one of my favorite levels in this game. What it is, I cannot say. But I'll use the previous DKC trilogy as a hint. <laughs> <laughs> 